Hi, this is me Wraith. Welcome to my 15 minute daily guitar workout. Finding time to practice is one of the biggest questions I get a lot of as a guitar tutor. Um, how do you find the time to practice? What do I practice when you do get the time? How often do you practice? Um, how long should I practice for? Finding time to practice is one of the biggest problems you face if you're older than about five years old. For the next four weeks, I'm going to upload a 15 minute daily guitar workout that we can each work through over the space of a week. Spending just 15 minutes a day on this guitar workout will develop three key areas of musicianship. These are technique, theory and ear training. So following this schedule, 15 minutes a day over four weeks will give you about seven hours of quality practice time over a month, which is not a lot to ask of your schedule really. So no excuses, find those 15 minutes, stick to the workout for a month uh, and I guarantee that you will significantly improve your playing over that space of time. So let's jump straight in with part one. So here we are, section one of part one of the 15 minute daily guitar workout. And what we're gonna do is a five minute uh, schedule here of technique. And what we're gonna do is the major scale. Now if you don't know what the major scale is, there's a bunch of videos on, on YouTube and there's some stuff on my channel about it. There's a ton of literature out there. I'm not going to bore you with that right now. I'm going to give you a pattern to play and I want you to alternate pick it and I'm going to show you how to do that now. Now to make this accessible to all types of guitar players, I'm just going to play this on an acoustic guitar. It's not plugged in and we're just using the camera mic. Okay, here's the pattern. Second finger, third fret, E string. Next note is little finger, on the 5th fret E string. 1st finger on the A string, which is the next string down, 2nd fret. Then the 3rd fret with the next finger. Then your little finger on the 5th. Then you're dropping down to the D string, 2nd fret. Then the 4th fret, same string. Then the 5th. And I want you to alternate pick that. So that's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Follow that pattern. You're looking for accuracy within the fret. So get as close as you can to the fret while without actually touching it. Don't press too hard and get the tip of your finger in the right place. Let me show you some close-ups of that. So here's the G major scale up close. So what you're looking for is to get your finger, not there, not sort of in the middle, it's right up against the fret wire but not actually on top of it. And that's what you're looking for with each of the notes that you're playing. Go as, as slowly as you need to to be able to get that accuracy. And you're just looking for the tips, of, if I play a note here, press down really hard so you can see it, just looking for the tip of your finger to almost always look like that. So if you end up with like strange tram lines, uh, you will know that you're kind of hitting it differently each time and you're looking for efficiency of movement I've said it a lot of times in, in like technique videos but you're looking for barely any movements in your fingers I'm trying to make it really obvious here so you can see where which notes I'm landing on but you want to kind of if you want to look at speed and accuracy then you're looking for efficiency of movement and, and very little movement to do it and this means not pressing too hard as well um, so you're just play, playing the note just enough to engage the fret wire so it starts to ring out. Any more, is wa any more than that's wasted effort and you're actually going to start to bend the string if you press too hard and it'll really hurt your hands. So uh, try to avoid that. Now if you already know that, that major scale pattern then what I want you to do is see how fast and accurate you can get it over the space of a week. Just spending five solid minutes on it. If you've never played it before, just learning the pattern, just having those five minutes a day looking at that pattern will help to embed it into your brain. And if you've never done any alternate picking before, this is really going to help to, to, to get your accuracy levels up there. Okay, section two. Five minutes a day, longer if you can, but five minutes a day. I want you to stare at this screen or you can get in touch with me on Facebook 
and I will email you a photo of it and you can print it and you can stare us at it on the train, on the bog, <laughs> wherever you can get five minutes, just stare at it. These are all the notes on the E string and there were two E strings. So effectively what we're going to do in five minutes a day is just learn all the notes on two of the strings. Okay, so your final five minutes of this week's daily guitar workout is ear training. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to try and find a pitch and bend a note to it. So it's a little bit of a combination of technique and also pitching for your ears. So we're going to pick a note, uh, it doesn't matter which one you choose, you want one that you can actually bend, so I wouldn't pick any of the really thick strings. Perhaps use the, the G string, sort of midway, maybe say the, the ninth fret. Play the ninth fret on the G string. Now go back a tone to the seventh fret, so there's your ninth. Go back to the seventh. And I want you to bend that seventh up until you reach that note. And the only thing that's going to get you there is your ears to tell you that's the note you've got to reach. Now you can bend up or you can bend down, depending on how your guitar is set up really. Okay. So if you're going to bend a string, a good way to start is to, uh, to use your, maybe your little finger is probably a little bit too weak to be bending when you first start. So I would stick to your first three fingers. And they're going to do the, the main heavy lifting for you, if you like, or pulling or pushing. So that's the note we're going to fret. In this case, it's the seventh fret on the G string. Um, and then my other fingers are going to sit behind it. And as you can see, they make no difference to the, the sound. So I'm obviously picking here. So it's this bit of the string that's ringing out. These two are just going to do a bit of heavy lifting for me. They're either going to get underneath the string and bend it up to that note or they're going to pull it down, sort of roll your fingers around and down, depending on, these are really quite thick acoustic strings, so I need to really get hold of them and pull them. Uh, but if you're playing on a, an electric, say gauge nine strings, then you should find this fairly simple. So you can see that they're really helping me to do that. It'd be very difficult with one finger with this thickness of string to bend that. So do that anywhere on the fretboard, five minutes a day, and that's going to improve your ability to bend strings and it's also going to improve your ear's ability to catch and reach certain pitches. Okay, that's your 15 minutes every day. You've got five minutes of technique, five minutes of theory and five minutes of ear training. Go for it.